Hello everyone, it's Miss Reed here. Today we're going to answer the question, how did dinosaurs get their names? Sir Richard Owen came up with the word dinosaur in 1841. He needed a new word to describe the fossils of extinct reptiles that were being discovered. Dinosaur was created by combining the Greek words dinos, which means terrible, and soros, which means lizard. We do know now that dinosaurs are not lizards, but at the time, terrible lizard was a good description for the fossils that were being found. Today, new dinosaurs are named by either the person who discovered the new dinosaur's remains, which would be its body, or the paleontologist, who is a type of scientist, who verifies that the fossils found are indeed from a new dinosaur. But how did they decide what to name it? There aren't any rules when it comes to naming a new dinosaur, but most of the time, people either name it after the person that discovered it, the place where it was found, or try and tell us something about the dinosaur in the name. In most cases, a dinosaur's name tells us something about the dinosaur itself. Scientists often use Greek or Latin root words to give a new dinosaur a name that describes the dinosaur in some way. For example, Triceratops means three-horned head, which is a good description of a Triceratops if you look at it. Once a new name is chosen, it must be reviewed by a panel of scientists. Finally, the International Commission of Zoological Nomenclature must give final approval of the name before it's official. And that's how a new dinosaur gets its name. I hope you enjoyed learning about how dinosaurs get their names. See you next time!